Readers, I uh, came out a little bit blurry, but it's readable, and I'll read some of it to you if it looks too blurry. Um, I mean, starting with that, one gallon is equal to four quarts, one quart is equal to two pints, one pint is two cups, and one cup is eight fluid ounces. And you've gotten this information before. If you flip back a few pages in your book, you'll see it also. And then again, um, how can you change from one customary unit uh, of capacity to another? So the first one I've highlighted in green here, it says converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you would, and I again highlighted in green here, you would divide. And then um, converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, you would multiply. And um, I just wanted to highlight those. Now, here's what I did down below in, in uh, your assignment today is to do 1 through 13 there. And what I did is I took two of them, two where you would divide and two where you would multiply and highlight them. So these two here, like number two and and number five here, and both of those, to get the answer, you would divide. Notice it's the same color. Um, and then in the, these, in three and four here, uh, same thing, it's in blue, and so you're going to multiply to find the answers. So if you're not sure, for example, um, like number 12 here, it's four quarts to something C. Well, the C means cups. And is a quart larger than a cup? It most certainly is. So you're going from larger to smaller. And so what would you do to find the solution? You would multiply. So um, it's just review of 12, one and 12, two. Um, and that's it. I'm not going to uh, do any of these problems. I want you guys to, to work on these uh, on your own. Um, what I did do is I pulled uh, the one gallon equals four quarts right here, one quart, two pints, and so forth for you, just so you can have it here to look at it. This is not in your book. You will not find this page in your book. Um, so you're just going to have to get a blank piece of paper and number it, uh, what is it, 1 through 13 looks like, and solve those problems. And then again, this is something I pulled um, that we looked at the other day. So I just thought it might be handy for you guys to have right there. So that's it, short lesson, only 13 problems to do. Um, and just think about whether you're going from a larger unit uh, to a smaller unit or from a smaller unit to a larger unit, and that'll help you solve these. Okay, that's it. And I will see you guys um, Thursday.